Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ethan Robbins. That's not my real voice. Today we're going to go back into DaVinci Resolve and check out what's called the Scrambler modifier. What the Scrambler modifier does is this. Pretty cool, right? It's a really simple thing. Doesn't take long to do it all. So, I mean, let's just let's just get into it. So, I'm in DaVinci Resolve here. I have a brand new completely new project open here. Let's make a timeline, right? Let's make a timeline. So, we'll call this timelines. New timeline. I always go for 4K, baby. We only do 4K here. Okay, I'm going to drag a fusion comp in here and let's jump into that fusion comp. This is just how my fusion looks. Your fusion might look a little different. Uh, I also prefer to work in a one viewer workspace. So let's get started here. Drag a blank background for our background node. Uh, I went over that in the motion graphics basics video. If you haven't seen that yet, you should check it out. It's a banger. It's a good one. Uh, I'm going to drag my merge in here. Let's add some text. Monsterot. Monsterot. I can never say it right. Mon I always used to say Monsterot, but it's Montserrat. Montserrat. It's, it's a great font. It looks it looks awesome. Yeah, imaging. There we go. Okay. You have your text. Everything looks good. Let's add a scrambler, shall we? So I'm going to right click in here go to text scramble right now you'll see the modifiers tab up here suddenly becomes active it wasn't active before it's active now so click that go to modifiers you'll see the text scramble on text one style text text one is our text node uh and so what this is going to do is it gives you the menu for what you want the characters that you typed in to scramble to and or from okay Follow me here. I promise this is super, super simple. On your timeline down here, you can see how far through the duration of your comp your playhead is. So I'm going to start from the beginning and we're going to text scramble all the way to the end or really close to the end. If you come up to your inspector here, to your settings, you can see that the randomness setting is set to zero. So that means that the percentage of randomness is going to be zilch, like nothing is going to be crazy or random. Take this dial, drag it up, watch what happens to my letters here. Things start to get funky, right? And from here, it's as simple as just keyframing. Here, I'm going to crank it up because I'm at the very beginning of my time frame, of my timeline here. Turn on this keyframe. See this? See this little dial right here? This little diamond? Click. And then I'm going to make my randomness uh, end at frame 100. Now there are 119 frames. Uh, maybe I'll make it end at 90. Let's do 90. And then I'm going to set this keyframe to zero. Bam. Right. You'll see as it plays, it goes from like crazy all the way down to exactly what I want it to be right there. Now, given that we're working in Fusion, you can kind of like smooth that curve with the spline editor. I'm a huge believer in using the spline editor. If you're not using the spline editor, you might as well not be using Fusion. I'm going to change this here. Let's grab this, press S to make this smooth. So now with this curve, the majority of our change will happen uh, over the course of 80% of our time frame. And then you'll watch it as it slows down. Looks pretty cool, right? That's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you did want to like change what characters you were using to uh, scramble through, because like right now it uses the whole uppercase alphabet, the whole lowercase alphabet and zero through nine. Uh, but if you wanted to make it just like a bunch of exclamation points, question marks, random numbers. Now, if I go back, you'll see that's all it's using. So you can give it a kind of stylized look, whatever you want it to be. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. The scrambler modifier is super simple. Once you know how to use it, uh, there's really not much to it at all. Really easy to learn. And if you did learn how to use the scramble modifier from this video, I really hope that you would at least leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you enjoyed about the video, uh, how how it clicked for you. Uh, maybe, maybe a project you could have used this on in the past. Uh, I can think off the top of my head of a lot of projects that I could have used this on if I would have just been aware of it but yeah leave a comment like this video help boost the algorithm and uh if if you think i'm cool enough maybe subscribe to the channel it'll really help out i appreciate your time watching and i will see you in the next video <laughs>